The addition of Undaunted Reinforcements provides the ability to play any scenario in the Undaunted system solitaire. The game is played just like the two-player version, with the following modifications for solo play. Choose a scenario from the Undaunted Normandy, North Africa, or Reinforcements set, and set up as normal. Find the solo entry for scenarios from Normandy or North Africa in the solo book. Scenarios from Reinforcements already have solo rules on their respective pages. Choose your faction from the solo scenario card. Then find the matching solo card for the scenario and place the solo cards beside the play area. Look at the Changes to Setup section and make the appropriate changes for the solo game. Then construct the deck for the solo bot. Shuffle all cards for the bot supply into bolster decks that are face down as described in the solo rules. You start by drawing four cards from your deck as normal. Next, determine initiative by selecting a card from your hand and drawing the top card from the bot deck. Whoever wins initiative takes the first turn. If the bot wins, place the card in the play area and not the discard pile. Now, take the turn as normal with the following changes. If you are successful in attacking a bot unit, search the bot discard for a card that matches the attacked unit and remove it from the game. If none are present, proceed to the bot deck and do the same. And if none are present there, go to the bot bolster deck and do the same. If no cards that match the attacked unit are present, remove the counter from the game. If you have the initiative marker and the bot counter is still present, place a control marker on the unit. Attacked units may have multiple control markers. Draw three cards and place them in the bot area. Arrange the cards in initiative order with the highest card on the left. Cards of the same initiative value are placed as they were drawn. If the bot did not win initiative, then check all bot combat counters that have control markers on them. For every control marker, remove any matching card in the bot play area to the discard pile. Only one discard per counter can be made. No matter the result, return all control markers to the supply area. Resolve each card from left to right one at a time. For every card, find the first line that applies on the solo matching card and resolve it. If that cannot be done, then the bot takes no actions. Every card that is resolved is placed into the bot discard pile. Repeat until no cards are left in the bot play area. Look at the solo card and find the first condition that applies. Read the line and resolve the stated action. Conditions that cannot be resolved would require breaking the rules to resolve, would have no effect, or would not achieve the aim of the condition are skipped. For conditions that refer to a specific target, the line should be carried out as directed. For more complex lines, choose the first subline that applies. If no subline applies, then skip the main line and go to the next condition. For lines that can be resolved in multiple ways, refer to the tiebreakers that are listed. Choose the action that best resolves the line. Keywords are in bold type and describe the actions taken. When using the keyword, apply all normal game restrictions to the action being taken. Solo cards with box text at the top should have such rules applied when resolving the card. You can refer to the terminology section on page 14 and changes to bot action sections on page 16 for how specific keywords and terms are used. The solo play example found in Undaunted Reinforcements rulebook showcases the first scenario of Undaunted Normandy, Loray. David draws four cards into his hand, selects a scout for the initiative bid, and reveals the top card of the bot deck. It is the Fog of War, so both cards are discarded, and David takes his first turn. David completes his turn and draws three cards for the bot arranging them from left to right in initiative order. He checks the board for any combat counters that have control markers. The machine gunner has one, so he removes the card from the bot play area to the discard pile. The control marker is then returned to supply along with all control markers for the bot player, whether they had cards in the bot area or not. The two remaining cards are now resolved from left to right. The squad leader is first, so he checks the squad leader solo card. The underlying part of the line does not apply to the current situation but Inspire does, which results in turning the rifleman sideways. The squad leader card is now discarded. 
the top two lines do not apply. But the third line starts with tile is secure, which it is. So the bot now selects a scouted destination within one tile and uses the sublines to decide the exact tile. Subline A does not apply, but subline B does, and now the tiebreakers must be resolved in order to decide which tile will be scouted. 13B is ruled out because of the presence of an enemy rifleman, so the tile with the highest value is chosen. That turns out to be tile 6A, which is now under bot control and two points are now earned. The card is now discarded. With all the cards having left the bot play area, the turn for the bot ends and a new round is started. And that is how the solo system works in Undaunted Reinforcements. You can now play any scenario solo in the Undaunted system.